next guest played Brooke English on All My Children. In that time, she's married Tom Cudahy, started a magazine, had an unexpected child with Tad Martin, and recently she's been paying the price for shooting her former fiance. So sad. Take a look. You made her think she killed her own mother. You left her without a mother. You left her alone after you victimized her. Did you know what that would do to her? Do you have any idea how that made her feel? Um, guilty, yeah. Yeah, I'll take guilty, miserable, and ashamed for 200, Alex. Shut up! You shut up! I swear to God, I will kill you right now! I swear to God, I'll kill him too! Good. You look so nice. Thank you. Do you need the footstool? We have a new footstool since you've been here last. Well, I feel like a doll sitting here because my feet don't. <laughs> okay, well, get ready. Floor. Get ready. No. Look who we have. Is this going to be. Oh, my God. What is it? Isn't that nice? I should have this everywhere I go. I need it, too. I have very short legs. This is so nice. Even Thank though you. I'm, I'm five foot six, but my legs don't touch on that chair either. Really? Then I don't feel so bad. Don't I'm, feel bad I'm just at all. under five, too. You are? Yeah. You're tiny and adorable. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> there you have it. Now, let me just say, shooting uh, the fiancé on the hole, not a bad idea because he was sort of scummy. I know which part was bad. Yeah. Shooting him in the back? Brooke, come on. What were you thinking? I was still talking, and he tried to, tried to leave, and so I said, wait, wait, and he wouldn't stop, so I shot him. No. Boom, that's it. He was a bad, it. bad man. Think about it next time, will you? Now, I think, I think people were waiting for for uh, Jim to get his. So, yeah. yeah. Now, when you read the script and you see that you're going to be killing him, do you think, oh, boy, now the next four months in the courtroom? Uh, sort of. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it must get a little well, bit redundant. You know, as it actress. is a crime to shoot somebody, so uh, yeah. <laughs> there is going to be something. Well, in the pay. real world it is, but in Pine Valley, it's, it's okay. A... I can say he was a bad, bad man. Right. Favorite plot lines over the years? Any that come to mind? Favorite plot lines? Um, Acting-wise, I think... Um, it was with Dixie, Adam, and Brooke, and it was uh, Adam and, and Brooke were trying to have a child, and Dixie came in as the au pair, and she got pregnant instead. Ooh, and, uh, that was bad. Could so, have been Stuart, you never know. Stuart pregnant? No, no. No, I mean, no, it could have been kidding. Stuart with Dixie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stuart pregnant, that'd be a good storyline oh, for God. you. You'd get a lot of viewers. No, and then, and then Erica and Brooke were put together. I, it was very far-fetched we were on a plane going somewhere it was hijacked and we landed in the middle of a jungle in a little cabin so the two of our characters who are at opposite ends of the spectrum being together alone is not you know an ideal situation so it was great I, right yeah on a in a jungle though in i a mean jungle. on like an yeah. island actually susan became hysterical not susan Erica became hysterical, and there was a section where it says brooke slaps Erica, and i went oh my god <laughs> <laughs> but uh it worked. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do that during taping? Do you ever call Erica Susan, or do you ever, like, mess up? And... Uh, not really. Once in a while. Yeah. Not, not really, though. Yeah, I guess yeah. after a while, you get so used to them. Well, it's like, names. you know, this is you, and this is the character, and right. the, the twain doesn't really meet. Yeah. You know? now, I loved how when you were pregnant, they worked it into the storyline. So did I. Yeah, that's a good thing. Because it meant I could keep working, <laughs> have a job. Um, no, actually, I'm not sure that they were going to go in that direction right. with the characters of Tom and Brooke. My husband and I were trying to have a child, and I called the producer at the time, and I said, you know, Jackie, um, my husband and I have succeeded where Tom and Brooke have failed, and <laughs> is that going to be a problem? <laughs> so it took him a while. It took him about four months, and I said, you know, I'm getting bigger and bigger on national television. Please, can't we tell them why? Right. You know, so, yeah. Now, um, let me just say, your hubby is an oral surgeon? He's an oral surgeon. Is he very happy with how much I discuss oral hygiene here on the show? <laughs> Flossing, my love of dental care? No, I tell you, he's, he's, I can't imagine having work done anymore by anybody other than, than him because he's, he's very good. He's, now, he's, what's the difference, dentist, looking. oral surgeon? What's oral surgeon actually has to do four years of a surgical residency after two years of dentistry. Right. So they do cutting, they cut. But they also Ugh. do crowns and everything? Uh, they can do everything, but they can do things that dentists can't do, which involves surgery. Right. So that's the main thing. Now, is he one of the four to five dentists recommend sugarless gum for their patients who chew gum? 
Yes, and no juji fruits or anything like that. He doesn't Nothing, like that at well, all. Well, yeah, some of the worst stuff you could do. Really? Yeah. I won't do that anymore, but oh. I did do that frequently. But I floss three times a day. Look at your teeth. They're beautiful. Aren't they nice? Thank you. <laughs> My teeth. <laughs> Oh, we can't do it. All right. Well, next season we'll get that. Um, now, do you, what toothbrush do you use? Tell me. I think I know. The, I actually, I, do you? Okay, I use Oral-B and I use soft bristles because it's very important. Soft bristles are much better in terms of your whole, your gum tissue and your teeth. Interesting. But you do own a Sonicare or an Interplac for the electronic feel of the freshly polished. No, I don't. <laughs> Julia, you don't own a Sonicare? No, I, your I, husband I, is an oral surgeon? No, I, I don't. <laughs> oh, no! Julia, this? I get no money from this product. I use it, I enjoy it. It gives me a tingly, fresh feeling all over my teeth and gums. This sounds better than a toothbrush. You're not kidding! <laughs> it's a toothbrush and then some. <laughs> you take that what home. Is it? It's Sonicare. It's got, it? it's got sonic waves. Look, that shoot out. Oh, I know what you do. It's like, you know what? They actually use devices like this when you, but you have to go to the dentist to do it, usually. Yeah. I mean, that's the only time I've ever had this done. I didn't even know. Well, it's sort of like an electric toothbrush. My husband toothbrush. is an oral surgeon, and I don't have any appliances I can't believe the Sonicare. It's the Sonic toothbrush. Thank you. It attacks plaque beyond the reach of common bristles. Are these people paying you? They're paying me nothing. Can you believe they're paying me nothing? I just Got use it. it and enjoy it, and I thought to myself, she probably has one. She looks one. like she could use some flossing. So no, no, no. I, I read that your husband was an oral surgeon. I said, get me one this here just great. in case. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. keep I it. It's for it. you. Thank you. Were well, you going on vacation this summer anywhere good? I'm um, going to go to Utah. I'm going to go to Sundance. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, um, we've never been, and I think most people think of it as either, you know, the film festival sure. or skiing. Yeah. But they actually have a year-round thing, horseback riding and hiking and so we're going to be outdoors and it's beautiful i know one of your producers lisa is from utah and she said she can't imagine a more beautiful place really so, i've never yeah. been there i've never been either i've been to montana which is beautiful I've been to wyoming but i've been to utah i went to stein eric lodge isn't that in utah somebody lisa stein know. eric lodge lisa you're from utah nobody knows <laughs> stein erickson stein someone Give me a Stein yeah. of beer. I don't know. But uh, it was a great place, but it was again for skiing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have a good time. Oh, I'm And I sure hope we to will. be back in Pine Valley soon. I hope you will be. Cooking and cleaning for you, the people of the Pine. <laughs> oh, God. Delightful to have you here, Julia. Thank you Thank very much. much. I'm going to try it, actually. We'll be right back after this break.